on your screen. So as you can see right here, I have um, put in a picture that is print and cut already. And you can see that up here, that it says cut, print. Um, so the next thing you wanna do, if you wanted to add some text to it and also create that into a print and cut, is add your text, however you want it to be. I'm gonna add a little curve to it. And just place it right above my picture here. And up on the um, right side here, it's going to say um, cut only. So like you, you can usually change it up here to the print. Um, however, when you go and cut it, it's not always going to be, it's not always going to let you change it up here. Um, sometimes that's not going to be an option. So if that is not an option, if it does not give you an option to click print, and if it only defaults to cut, what you can do, you can see it says cut and print again right here. Um, what you can do is select all, and you're gonna wanna go down to the bottom right down here and click flatten. And when you do that, it creates it um, all on the same um, layer. So it'll all print out as one image. So like before, if I were to have it be cut and print, selecting all and like attaching it would change it to the same thing like that I would not want. And yes, it's attached, but it's not gonna print out like that. And I can kind of show you here. If I go into click makeup, oh, it's actually a little too big. So if I go in, oh, let's make it a little smaller. There we go. Click make it. It's going to want to print this and cut this part. So like I said, um, using the flatten button down here will help so it's all attached correctly.